Hello, I'm Andy Newman, Fixture Tooling Product Specialist here at Atlas Copco. In today's learning series, we'll be covering how we can use the PowerMax 4000 software, Tools Talk PowerMax, to create a brand new setup from scratch. It's going to ask you a series of questions, you're going to answer those questions, and at the end of the process, the Tools Talk PowerMax software will generate a complete setup for you to be able to use to run your tools. We'll now be using the wizard to create a brand new two spindle setup. We just go up to file, select new, and the PowerMax 4000 will ask you a series of questions to help you set up your system. First of all, we want to name the system, so here we'll just call it test. And then the number of stations in that system, we'll stay at one, and the setup version, and today we're using 10914 Hotfix 6. Select Next. Now it's going to ask us to name our stations. So here we'll name this station Atlas. And now how many bolts are in the station? We're going to do a two spindle. So there's two bolts and there's two spindles. The next thing we have to do is tell it what size spindle we're using. And there's quite an extensive list of spindles here, so make sure you pick the right one. We always want to key off of the article number of the spindle, since several spindles may have the same description. So here we'll do a 4250 CT, and then we'll hit next. We can name the bolts. In this case, we're not going to name the bolts. We'll just stick with bolt one and bolt two. Now it's confirming that spindle number one is an 8435 403717, which is a 4250, and also spindle two is the same spindle. If we had different spindles, this would be our opportunity to change the individual spindles to the correct type. How many modes do we want? As a bare minimum, we usually want to say two modes. We want one for tightening and one for loosening. So here we'll do an angle counterclockwise 360 degrees as our loosening, and we'll do a tighten 10 as our tightening. Are there any devices attached to this system? So if there's any devices such as indicator boxes, stack lights, those can be added here so that they'll be in the setup when we create the setup. Or if there's a field bus, we can tell it what size the field bus is at this point of the setup as well. We'll keep it simple in this example, and we'll just say that there's a stack light, and then we can name that stack light, and we'll also say that there is an indicator box. So those are the two devices we have set up on our system here today. Again, we'll put in here whatever you happen to have in your system. Next, we're going to pick the default reporter. So we've got to have a screen reporter. That's the data we're going to show you on the screen. And we've got to have a trace reporter. That's the data we're going to show you with the trace. For screen reporter, I always like having step data. That gives you more information. So once we've told it what type of reporters we want, we hit the next. The PowerMax will now generate the necessary files to create this setup. Again, there's going to be two files, a PM4 and a ZWT2. So the PowerMax is actually creating the PLC program for this and everything else that it needs in order to give you a whole new setup from scratch. And there it's done. So here we can see that our system name is test, our station name is Atlas, we have the two programs, counterclockwise 360, Titan 10, we have the two reporters, the screen and the trace, and on our hardware we have the two TCs, the spindle that we selected, a stack light, and an indicator box. We can also now further program these devices. So the stack light has a default setup to it. So we already see that the red light is not okay, the yellow light is running, the green light is okay, and the blue light is ready to start. But we can configure these to whatever we want. So here, let's just make our black button the start signal. And apply that change. We can also set up our indicator box. So here's where we would define what the lights in the indicator box mean. To do that, we've got to be at a version 13 at least of the indicator box. But then we can simply click on the indicator box, 
tell it that it's an LED and tell it what the green LED is going to represent. So in this case, it's going to represent cycle OK. And a red LED is going to indicate cycle not OK. And again, we can add more inputs and outputs here simply by clicking on them and defining them in the table. So now we've created a very simple setup. Again, we can create as complex of a setup as we want using the wizard by simply going File, New, answering a few questions, and the PowerMax 4000 will generate everything that you need to create a new system from scratch. Thanks for taking time and viewing our lesson. I hope it was helpful. If you have any further questions, please reach out to your Atlas Capco product specialist. Thank you.